Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101. I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. The Giants beat the Cubs yesterday 4-2. It took them eight games, but finally they have got a second half win. Alex Wood took a no-hitter through six innings yesterday until Ian Happ broke it up in the seventh with a single. Now, this six-inning no-hitter is incredible for two reasons. Number one, now just in general, can you expect a team that's just lost seven straight games to be throwing anything close to a no-hitter? Number two, Alex Wood, when he began the first inning, he did not look sharp. He walked two hitters to lead off the game, including hitting one with a pitch, and he didn't look like he had it. But you know what I believe one of the best things that a pitcher can do is? When he doesn't seem to have his command and stuff, he just throws the best he can, and he gets back into the game and works around it. That's what Alex Wood did yesterday, and that's what is so beneficial for a pitcher. He feels like he doesn't have it, he doesn't feel his command, doesn't have a feel for his stuff, and yet he works around it, labors through it, gets the hitters out, and Alex Wood did that. He went through six innings without allowing a hit. He pitched very well yesterday, so great start, great performance from Alex Wood. The Giants' defense also was a bit better yesterday, so they were able to help him out a bit. And it was just great. The bullpen, too. I mean, Dominic Leone got the final out in the seventh. Then John Brebbia, Camilo Doval pitched after that. They didn't allow any runs. So no jams they had to come in, but with the bases empty, they did a good job getting the outs that they were responsible for. And now, what might be one of the factors in the Giants' win, the Giants seeming to turn it around, at least momentarily? Well, they did return to Oracle Park. This was a home game. Now, what, what difference would that make? Personally, I don't think that home team advantage makes any considerable difference in a team's performance over the course of a season. Some teams are going to be better at home. Others are going to be better on the road. I, I don't think that that is a noticeable advantage or disadvantage in how a team's going to do whether they're at home. I also realize that different things seem to benefit different teams. So that does not rule out the possibility that coming home was a key change that the Giants needed. And how would it have been? Are they just more comfortable with everything at their own park because defense, hitting, and pitching was better? I, I mean, on the offensive side, the Giants needed runs in the game, absolutely. Tyro Estrada, oh no, excuse me, Yerman Yermin Mercedes singled first to bring in two runs in the third inning. Then it was Tyro Estrada who singled after him. And in the fourth, Austin Slater doubled. It was a total of four runs that the Giants got in the game. So they had timely hitting. And in the third inning, it was with two outs, too, that Mercedes did an excellent job getting the bat on the ball. With two outs and runners in scoring position, you know what it seems like over the past week? That the Giants were the ones to give up the hits in those situations, but never the ones to get them. This changed last night. Mercedes had the hit, and then Estrada and Slater would follow it up with RBI hits, just taking advantage of runners in scoring position, getting them home. So that's what went better for the Giants, and the question that we're not able to answer is, did a return to Oracle Park help the Giants in any way? I actually hope that it did because the next few games are going to be at Oracle Park and if it would maybe help the Giants to win those, that's what's going to have the most effect on the trade deadline. We, we still want them to buy. They need to buy at the trade deadline, otherwise they're basically selling out their season. So that's why I hope that Oracle Park has made a change, that coming back home has made a change for the Giants. Since they'll, now's the time when they have to play for the right to buy at the trade deadline. So I, I don't know how a team's home ballpark will affect them, and it's going to be different 
for different teams. I, I think if it did help the Giants, it would be mainly because it was just a much needed change and that somehow, for whatever reason, coming home for the Giants was just the change that they needed. It, it would be something environmental or atmospheric, unless it's just that the players got it figured out with the configurations of the Giants' home ballpark. So, man, that noise is loud. I hope that you can hear me perfectly still. So, so the Giants do win a game here with just good playing from everybody. They will still have some work to do. There are still five more games until the trade deadline, and they need extra help on their roster badly. So, coming home had better have done something. But Alex Wood, I mean, even with all of his inconsistencies for the year, he showed the ability to deliver when it really mattered, when it absolutely mattered for the Giants. That was yesterday. And he delivered for them. He shut out. He no-hit the Cubs through six innings. Then the Giants took care of it in the late innings and beat the Cubs 4-2. to So they play the Cubs again tonight. I believe it would be Alex Cobb pitching. He too is going to need to do well here. And we'll, we'll have to see how it goes. We'll have to see what the Giants' fate is going to be in 2022 because the trade deadline could effectively decide whether they have a chance at a playoff run. The other thing to remember, I've, I've been getting pretty pretty agitated, I know, in the past few videos just because of how things have been going, but the Giants are still within realistic distance of a playoff spot. They were three and a half games behind the Cardinals. I, I'd have to check if the Cardinals won yesterday. Sometimes I forget to check those things. But if, if they lost, then the Giants gained a game. So th this the main thing I'm saying is the Giants are within striking distance of a playoff spot even right now as we speak. And if they really do have a way to get this thing turned around, then there's time to turn it around and to reach the playoffs. That's what I think should really factor into the trade deadline's decision to buy or sell. You have to remember that even after this really bad losing streak, the Giants are within playoff chances. They're, they're within a chance to get back into the record, get back into the standings, and get that playoff spot. All the same, what, what they do in these five games could be everything because you have a deadline after that you can't trade, and what do they? What does the front office want to do? They ha they're going to have prospect offers for the best players that the Giants have. Giants just have to prove that the thing to do is to keep them and shoot for the playoffs. But yeah, last night's turnaround, it, it was just, it, it was just the, a step in the right direction. And when Alex Wood finally did give up that home run in the seventh inning, you know, you're probably watching that and thinking, are they just gonna blow it in the late innings again? Because it's, the Giants have a, they're carrying a two run lead. Then you're probably wondering, okay, what's gonna happen? Is the bullpen gonna blow it? But they didn't, they slammed the door on the opponent preserving their lead this time. And that, well that's just more than anything it looks like they would have been able to do against the Dodgers, even though the couple of games the bullpen blew against the Dodgers in the late innings, well one was a lead and a couple of them were tie games, but it's just good to see them hold down a lead this time against the Cubs. They did everything correctly, really, that they needed to do. So anyway, we just go into another game tonight. Thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not. You could also email me at gabrielvaughn89 at gmail.com or leave a comment on the video. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Let's go, Giants. We still have hope for them. See you next time, which will be most likely tomorrow morning after the Giants game tonight against the Cubs. Hopefully, we can have another party.